It's Derek with HPC, and today we are actually out here testing the climbing range on the Trailblazer. So we got both our riders. We have a 750 watt, and this one's a 1200 watt. We have a 1200 foot elevation climb, uh, 2.5 miles one way, then 2.5 miles back. So we're not only testing the difference of uh, battery usage between them, but just how much battery you actually use. So we have our riders riding up uh, Chumash Trail. So it's a decent, decent climb over 2.5 miles. And uh, we're just gonna see how they do. So we actually ended up doing about six and a half miles, 1500 feet elevation. So I'm gonna get these batteries out on the stand, check exactly how much capacity to use, and uh, I'll let you know the result. So keep in mind the results, uh, both riders did not use any throttle at all. So it was all pedal assist. This was a 750 watt bike with a 140 round rider. The other bike had the 1200 with a 160 pound rider. So we'll, we'll let you know the difference. You want to come over here. So we used in total for the 1500 foot climb roughly 3.8 uh, amp hours. So on this battery, uh, this is the 10.5 amp hour. That's almost three climbs if you want to do three of those rides. Um, and on the, the biggest battery, so the 17.5 amp hour, that would be roughly four and a half full rides. So you're talking almost 30 miles of decent mountain riding up and down. That's it's pretty good. Better than I thought it'd be for sure. Okay, so we just got everything tabulated and all of that for the battery. So this is the 750 watt battery over here. And I don't know if you can see the chart behind me, but um, it, on this battery we used 3.66 amp hours out of the usable 10.1. So that is roughly 2.76 rides you can do. So that'd be a total of over 4,000 feet elevation and roughly 17 miles. And keep in mind, this is a 145 pound ride. They're no throttle and they're in pedal assist level one or two and rarely three on the climb up. So they were pedaling a good amount, um, but still good range numbers for the bike. Um, and if you go to the 1200 watt battery, heavier rider, uh, more power on the bike, and obviously the figure is a little lower, not too much. I thought it'd be a little more, but that would give you 2.64 uh, rides on the stock battery and, you know, almost 4,000 feet elevation and almost 17 miles of range. So we also have a long range 910 watt hour battery that will give you substantially more range. So on, on the smaller rider, 750 watt bike, you're looking at roughly 7,700 feet elevation if we did that same ride over and over again with um, almost 33 miles. So definitely a lot more. Um, so ideally you'd want a battery that fits your riding style. Um, a lot of people opt for two batteries, which is why we're coming out with a lightweight uh, park battery. Say you're only going a few miles or you're doing the park at your local mountain. Uh, 
the lighter weight definitely helps a lot. So people opt for maybe a lightweight battery and a long range battery so they can get the best of both worlds and uh, you know tailor their ride to their battery. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you learned something about range and what you can expect on our new lightweight trailblazer. Thank you. Wow. Dude, I didn't think it was going to be that, that technical. Just a wet rock, man.